Hello, Internet. It's Monday. We're still playing Dave the Diver. Uh, it looks like we need to find marlins and stuff. I'm pretty sure this whole eggplant and carrot thing will take care of itself. We still haven't gotten that child's uh, Cleones, and probably never will. Yeah, so let's start off by uh, catching some fish that we can sell. And then in the afternoon, we'll help the sea people. Narwhal? Can we make narwhal sushi? That sounds very illegal. Hang on, are narwhals... Are they endangered? Are... Narwhals... Are narwhals real? Are narwhals endangered? They are not endangered. They are least concerned. So maybe we can hunt narwhals, and it's not a legal crime. Like, it's not a crime in a legal sense, it's just a, you know, large, charismatic mammal. I shouldn't pick up the sea urchin. We've already found out the sea urchin sushi isn't worth it. I'm trying to adjust my setup a little bit again. So I'm getting things more ergonomic. So there might be some random moments where I just freeze to move things around. What's this shiny thing over here? Let's find out if white leg shrimp are any good. Oh, it's just a blue seashell. That's... Not useful to me. Let's just keep going deeper. Eventually we'll find some fish or sharks or something we can eat. I think we've gotten to the point, right, where parrotfish aren't worth much? Not parrotfish, um, what's this thing called? Is it a parrotfish? Triggerfish. They're not worth much money anymore, unfortunately. Got me. Uh-oh. We might run out of... Hmm. I'm gonna look around for an oxygen refill, and if we don't find one, then we'll use our portable one. But, well, better use a portable one now, because we gotta fight this thing. Okay. I thought for some reason he was charging the opposite direction. I mean, I guess I shot first, but I don't see why he has to be so aggro. We'll use the submersible for this, since we're getting, like, an event for Marlins. Oh, auger. We need auger, right? Maybe we can upgrade our weapons with this. Nope. Ooh, another. 
How's my oxygen looking? Not great. Samurai sword, nah. Samurai sword's cool and all, but... Hey, Reuben. Two of these guys is a problem. Two of these guys is a big problem. We're gonna die. We're gonna die, almost certainly. Yep. Ruben's got a test week tomorrow. Does that mean that this is test week now, but the tests start tomorrow, or? How does that work? I guess take the shark meat. All right, so there might not be much uh on the menu. Today was Easter. Oh, you guys must do Easter differently than we do. Hey, at least we got that marlin meat. crops have grown. Now we have to harvest them. Um, yeah, like, people who got the day off for Easter got, uh, Friday off here. And then the actual Easter celebration was on Sunday. all weeds to restart farming. Well, there's no weeds, so we're good. Tomorrow he has geography and bio. Some very different subjects to be tested on. Right, we don't need to water these. Um... I'll grow the rice, just kill funny insects now and then. Okay, so I guess we harvested the rice. That's all we needed to do here. So... Let's check the fish farm, see if there's anything we need to clear out there. Starry Puffers alone. Oh, we got a Marlin. Send that to the kitchen. They fall under the same category. Geography and biology? I mean, there's biogeography, which is the study of how different living things are spread out, but usually you want to learn reasons why certain species would be spread out before you learn, like, the patterns. If we keep sending them to the kitchen, eventually we'll have enough to upgrade it. And then we can make good good enough blue tang sushi. Especially tonight, since we, um, you know, our fishing session did not go well. So let's send some of these cuttlefish to the kitchen.
weird stuff growing here. AK, biology. AK, geography, bio, and GES, history. Nope, I don't understand that sentence. So none of these things, we have a lot of other than Nautiluses, so we'll just leave them. We have a recipe for coral trout, I think. Okay. The people will not go hungry tonight. They just might not have the best... Might not have the best time. But now we gotta go help the sea people. I mean, look, I got money. I'm good. What can I upgrade, by the way? Get more air? They are... Zakvaken. No idea what that word means. I'll just do what you do and throw that into Google Translate and see what happens. Google Translate. I should get that... Probably bookmarked on this case areas. Okay, I mean, case areas. Geography and bio being in the same case area. I'm not sure I agree with that. This is very expensive. This is also very expensive. We can carry more junk. And I love carrying junk. But this makes it so we can catch more stuff. There we go. There's half our money. So... What were we doing with the sea people again? I think we were waiting to get a... What do you call it? Um, like a better heat-proof suit. So maybe we'll just do two dives today. Two normal fishing dives. Hope we don't get attacked by marlins again. <laughs> Oh, we've got a, uh, that one app. They want us to kill these type of jellyfish. Oh, snap. We, uh, one-shot them now. We were supposed to be killing them from the beginning, but still. Sometimes you want to go back to the early parts of the game and just, like, wreck things. Something about reasoning being important with all of them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to disagree with that. Geography and biology start as memorization, and then you start, once you know enough about them, you can start doing actual logic with them. But you kinda gotta know the difference between, like, I don't like, I don't like this weapon. Um. You kind of got to know what the anatomical differences are between a crab and a shrimp before you can start talking or making decent hypotheses about why some shrimp evolved into crabs and why some crabs evolved into shrimp-looking things, but they're neither. You know, they're fake crabs and fake shrimp. Fake animals. Okay, there's an oxygen refill up here. That's good to know.
Like, once you know enough about a subject, reasoning's important. And I would say you get most, like, the memorization out of something like math done in elementary school. Whoa! I hate you. Okay, so even if we drown now, we'll get that sushi. Case subjects is a term used in primary education for the subjects of history, geography, biology, religion, philosophy, and secondary education, social studies, economics, and philosophy are added. Oops. Oops. Again. Case subjects is a term used in primary education for the subjects of history, geography, biology and religion slash philosophy. In secondary education, social studies, economics and philosophy are added. By teaching business subjects, children broaden their view of the world. Well, yeah, it's important to broaden your view of the world. Also, hi, Vopker. I saw you popped in. More scooters. Good. Maybe fried egg jellyfish will taste good, who knows? You know, we're probably around the slab area, and that one kid wanted us to get that wedding song. So I might as well go look for that while we're down here. Oh yeah, pufferfish. We have recipes for you now. Regular triple axle. Nope. No good. No good. I didn't even see that seahorse. What have we got in this box? Extra O2 canister. Press the swap button R. So we're going to find another way up here. Come on. There you go. You are food now. Sorry. Not actually sorry. How are our days? Um... Wait, why are there so many fish? Um... I went to a park I've been to a couple times already on Saturday. But it was high tide, so we couldn't go on the beach really at all. 
we didn't get really any good pictures either. It was kind of nice just as a walk in the woods, but... Are these food? Scad. Scad's food, but we haven't really invested in it. Maybe I should. That we spent a good bit of, um, Bill and I spent a good bit of Sunday troubleshooting. Uh oh. Okay, we can catch this guy straight up. You. And then we shoot this guy. Anyway, I found- I think I found a way that Bill and I can record in the same room and at least have a microphone on him. Hidden writing. Like a door and a question mark and a five and another door. Maybe some kind of code. Ah, that appears to be the slab. I should take it to the shrine in the Sea People Village. The sad thing is, I couldn't get this program that makes it so when Phil talks, his little cat avatar lights up to work. Like, I couldn't make it so that... We tried a lot of things to isolate each of our voices, and it just wouldn't work. And this doesn't matter at all to Ruben, because hopefully he's going to be asleep while I'm streaming with Phil. Because it's going to be pretty late where he is. Fantastic. Uh, let's shoot this great white shark. Where's the tiger shark? Hopefully, but he might check out the VOD. Uh, maybe I'll put the VODs on YouTube? I should probably put the VODs on YouTube. If we're gonna get people to notice me, it's better to have more stuff archived, right? Sleep gun. don't need any color of seashell. What we really need right now is to find... an emergency exit. Especially considering we just ran out of scooter. Ruben's lagging, because slow Wi-Fi. I want to catch this pupper fish.
Come on. Well, that wasn't worth it. We're gonna drown now. We are going to drown. Unless we get very lucky. Oh, wow, that's a scary giant Cleon. How was my Easter? I did nothing. I stayed home. I'm going to kill this fish and not get any benefit out of it. Please be a scooter in here. Nope. Nice. It was. I just stayed home and played video games. Now, do I do the smart thing and get out of here? Or do I try to hunt down that giant Cleone that I can't dodge? It will kill me if it's hostile. Let's just get out. I will die if I fight it. And all this stuff we collect will be for nothing. Do I want to keep these? No, I don't really care, actually. More Marlin meat. So the day we get that Marlin ceremony, we'll be very good. We'll be very well off. Uh, hey Sato, what do you want? Oh! The storm is getting rowdy again. About the super rare boss card. How about we try to get it again? You'll be able to meet the creature by going to the vortex that was created by the storm. Don't lose the opportunity, marine cock collector. Eh, I'm not a marine cock collector. Sorry. I do not care. So, the idea you mentioned earlier. Oh, that. What if you infiltrate... The bl sea blue base and retrieve the mechanical parts. Mm. Me go in their base. Wow. Sea blue folks were scouting the area using underwater drones at night. Oh. Follow those drones and you will find their base. Yeah. That sounds very dangerous. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I will prepare an infiltration suit with camouflage patterns. Oh. It will hide you from plain sight at night. Oh. No guarantees though. Um, anyway, it's not dark enough yet, so I will see you later when I close the bar. Ha ha ha. So, we night diving. So we got a bunch of triggerfish and cuttlefish, so that's my blue tang. can't sort by, like, number of things. What do we got here? Tiger shrimp? We got 17 of them. If we upgrade it, they get a lot tastier, but only a little bit more expensive. Mission impossible. Be a big dude sneaking into an eco-terrorist base. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna put these on the menu as is. Mega Mouth Shark Meat. It's expensive, sure. Just throw some of those out there. Quite all of them. 
Uh, we can only put two servings of this tropical fruit sushi set out there, but it'd be real expensive. Ooh, wait a second. No, no, we're saving the Marlin sushi. Starry Puppers. Yeah, let's sell this. It's only level one. We can make this better. That's all our starry puppers, but not quite all the rice. Alright, we're definitely gonna need some filler. We're gonna need something that people can eat a lot of. Uh, Lognos Shark Sushi. It's cheap. It's good. Else we got that we can use for filler here. Spanish mackerel. It doesn't taste very good. If we enhance it, it's still not great. Comb jelly sushi. Tastes terrible. It's also level one. Well, we're not going to put that on the menu tonight, but sometime later we have to kill a bunch more of them. Blobfish sushi. Expensive. Awful tasting. If you fail, it's going to be Phoenix right, but you just watch. They put me on trial at The Hague. Striped mullet. Ooh. We get a lot of servings out of each one of these sets. Can we enhance it? It would take all of our dudes, so no, it's not. Let's just put this on the menu. We'll get a lot of servings out of it. You can only put 20 servings on the menu? Of anything? Okay. Let's put 15. There, that's plenty of food. Everyone's gonna come in here, get their fill of sushi. It's gonna be good. good at cleaning tables. Okay, so my staff can definitely run the food faster than I can. Clean up this plate. And we did pretty good tonight. Yeah, okay, 4,000. Net profit of 4,500. 
monies. And now it's time to be ninjas. This should be enough. Dave, you're here. It's so dark. Are you sure there's something there? Hey, hey, just put on this infiltration gear. It will help you stay unnoticed. And then he kicks me off the boat. Nope. Uh, it doesn't look different to me. Oh, I feel like I'm being a secret agent. Dressed for success. You look ready to enter Dark Moses Island in that. Sorry, I'm just thinking about all the times that the government has infiltrated environmentalist groups and murdered people and gotten away with it. Ahem. <clears throat> We're not going to murder anyone. Unless they shoot first. That at least makes me better than the U.S. government. Anyway, well into the U.S. Well, into the water now. You will see roaming drones underwater. Follow them unnoticed. I bet they will lead you to Sea Blue's base. Oh, right. Leave your weapons here. See? Okay. See? We're not going to kill anybody. You want me to infiltrate their base unarmed? Sea Blue runs a tight security system with sentry drones and sensors. If one of the drones detects a weapon, they will alert the base immediately. This is a covert operation anyway, going in secretly and coming back with a mechanical part. Simple, right? What am I doing here, skipping sleep? So no weapons. Just gonna follow the drone. That must be one of C. Blue's sentry drones. I should follow it from a distance. I should hope I don't get attacked by scary pufferfish. Hostile. Hostile jellyfish. I mean, they don't show up as hostile. Maybe they're not. Please, please move. Please move, drone. There's a shark that's coming to eat me right now. What is this drone here for, anyway? Like, are they trying to find poachers? Because you're not going to find giant sea vessels poaching animals at midnight anyway. But you're definitely not going to do it with a little drone like this. Ooh, a hidden entrance. I should hurry before the door closes. What a cutscene. Such animation. Isn't this too big to be a hidden base? What are these facilities for? That looks like meat. Machines processing dolphin meat. I'm confused why Dave recommends or rec recognizes dolphin meat at a glance like that. Anyway, I am confused. Aren't sea blue environmentalists? What in the world are these for? It's, it's like all those African countries where they get rich people to, you know, pay them millions of dollars to go kill an old um, rhino. Just in this case, they're killing young dolphins because they taste better that way. <laughs> I must find some mechanical parts for now. Yeah, you can't save those dolphins. They're already dead, dude. Get special suit components from the top floor. Be careful not to get caught by soldiers or cameras. Oh, that's special. Ah! Well, let's hope they're dumb. 
and kind of deaf. At least in Odd World, I could take over, you know, the monsters and use their abilities. In this game, not so much. But this does feel a little bit like Odd World. Hopefully, if I screw up, the save feature will be a little bit more kind than Odd World was. Also, welcome back, Ruben. I did notice you. I saw you come in. Dude, get out. Go. Just, just leave me alone. I'm not talking to you, Ruben. I'm talking about the guy in the purple bandana. Now what? Ah. Interesting. Come on, guy. Move. How does this guy not see me? What is Dave eating? Ain't diving, like, good for losing weight? Swimming is good for losing weight, but... He probably weighs a similar amount to Michael Phelps, but does not exercise nearly as hard as Michael Phelps. Dave, as he is now, is buoyant, and that works for him. Michael Phelps, uh, the guy who got the most gold medals at the Olympics as a single guy ever. He is an American swimmer. He is really, really, really fast, and he's really, really, really big. He looks like the roided out masculine ideal that's pitched by Marvel movies, but like he actually accomplished it by exercise and not by drugs, as far as we know. I mean, you can kind of depend on the Olympic committees to make sure that that the competitors there aren't on drugs. Is there no one up here? <laughs> ate the rations. They were not good. Keep the sea blue. And this looks like an office. It looks like it contains some mechanical parts here. Man, I miss my warm, clean bed at home. Keep the sea blue poster. I can't believe what they're what they've been doing behind everyone's back. So is that a reference C to something? Keep the sea blue? I mean it sounds like pretty standard propaganda. Sometimes um not so great propaganda, like keep Britain British. It has a drawing of sea blue research. Wait, isn't this a picture of me? And now we get the mechanical part. 
core component of the sea blue tech suit. It looks quite complicated. And we've stolen it. Let me take it. Not the food. Uh oh. We got caught again. Help me, see people. Oh no, Dave's gonna smash through the glass! Oh! You heard an achievement. Yeah, because I ate the ration. I got an achievement for eating a ration. Uh, looks like we got out in one piece. Yay. Stealth suit strong. Oh, Dave, you came back in one piece. That's what I said. Yeah. Well, I sense a lack of trust in your voice regarding my survival skills. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Take a look at this thing. Sea Blue's mechanical part, in pristine condition. Mm. Why didn't you warn me of the armed pirates? Yeah. Honestly, I didn't know of their presence. Yeah. Anyway... I found many pieces of equipment used to process and freeze fish in Sea Blue's base. Yeah. And I believe they caught some dolphins as well. Yeah. Isn't Sea Blue a group of environmentalists? Doesn't that make them hypocrites? Nah. Come on, Dave, you died today. Yeah, just once. Got killed by a fish, but pirates let me reset. Pirates have some sense of rules, unlike Marlins. Yeah. Knowing they've been exposed might make them more dangerous. You better be careful. Oh, I better be careful. What about you, Cobra? I don't know. Anyways, get some rest. It's getting late. Just sleep on it. Don't worry about it. I will talk to Dr. Bacon tomorrow. Hey, guess what, Cobra? Dr. Bacon is on their list, too. We're gonna get hunted down by pirates. Pirate environmentalists. I went home late and couldn't sleep well last night because of, you know, the people that were looking to murder me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> did you get- you did a good job last night. Let's go report to Dr. Bacon. Never mind, he's here. Hey, Dave. I heard you acquired an intact mechanical part. Yes, with difficulties. Here, take it. Yes, this is it. Good job, Dave. Okay, now I have everything I need. I will go to the lab and craft a cold-resistant suit. But... I am worried about the fact that the glacial area is unstable. I suggest you get a good weapon as well as a good suit. Ah, there was a new material developed at the lab. The dive knife can be upgraded. As usual, you can upgrade it through iDiver. Upgrading the dive knife not only increases its power, but you can also mine minerals that previously you could only be mined with a pickaxe. Yeah, I guess I'll take that then. Oh! Then I won't have to go looking for the pickaxe. Haha, give me a day to craft the suit. I will see you tomorrow. So tonight we just serve people Marlin sushi like nothing oh. happened? Cold resistant suit. I wonder what it'll look like. I hope it looks like those little Yeti guys from Mario Odyssey. Like Dr. Bacon said, a suit won't be enough to protect yourself. With a gun, it would be easier, since it's a secret base where they harvest dolphin meat, so they might not report it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I started shooting people in the pirate base, they wouldn't exactly go to the cops over it. It might make them a little bit more motivated to, you know, hunt me down in my sleep, though. I'll go ask Duff about a new weapon. Dive knife. Enhance the knife, increases base damage, and allows you to gather high, higher grade materials. Sorry, I I conjugated that for them. Enhancing the knife, increase base damage, and allow you to grab, gather higher grade materials. Yeah, as the game goes on, the the grammar proofreading is kind of dying. It's party day today. 
prepare the right ingredients and make a fortune. And <laughs> just sleep with the fish people. Yeah, for some reason I don't run out of oxygen when I'm down there. But could you tr just imagine trying to sleep with a regulator in your mouth? It'd be way worse than a retainer. Not that I would know anything about that. I got born with just crooked enough teeth that no one cares to make a big deal out of it. Farming report. Do we have eggplants yet? Where's my farmer? I have a farmer app, right? There we go. Farm now. We've got a weed. The carrots and eggplants still growing as of today, so I should probably go grab that weed to help the rice. Noith, 3,000 to make it do 10 more damage. 10 damage. Sure. The phones of today, they are very special with the crazy number of things they can do. Let's see, can I upgrade my basic rifle? Underwater rifle 3, I need giant trevally fins and amethyst ore. And it's going to use up all of my fragments. But it'll do like 20 more damage and hold 2 more bullets, and that's pretty good. You need starfish to make a hush dart gun? Oh, when did I get a grenade launcher? They can change reality and report <laughs> and report weather. Both of those things fairly e equal in uh, impressiveness. Uh, anything here? Remove jellyfish. Receive my tiny little reward. Now I need to find more fried egg jellyfish and barrel jellyfish. And I gotta catch more things in the glacial passage. And kill more fang tooths. I haven't found lime or sea grapes in forever. Right, we need pink seashells, orange starfish. Pink seashells, orange starfish. Let's see if anyone gave us a good review yesterday. Hang the Yoshi. Detoxified puffer fish is just the best. That's not exactly how it works, but sure. This sushi has dots on it. It's pretty cute. This is marbled electric ray, right? Did I serve that last night? Sea urchin smells like the ocean. I like it. I've never had sea urchin. So, should I try to catch some more marlins for the Marlin Festival? I should water these guys. Fish farm, see what we got here. So we've gotten 13 more blue tangs in the last night. Oh, never mind. Really? Send some more of our titan fish out there. Fish sushi is something we upgraded a little bit, right? We 
We can't really send the starry puffers yet. We need them to start breeding. Send some more of our cuttlefish. Since they could potentially be good. And some barracudas, just so that we get more room for everyone to breed. The chambered nautilus is the only things that are breeding in here. Um, grilled shark, cookie cutter shark. We got all these sharks. I'm not going to catch more sea toads. Let's just sell it. Probably the fanfish, too. Red bream was kind of a mistake, too. Alright. So that's some fish delivered. So we could go help the sea... We still can't help the sea people because we need that warm suit. So we're going fishing. We're going fishing and we're going to hopefully catch at least one more marlin. And hopefully not die. Waterproof box. Automatic refill. Scooter. Let's have a scooter, because those things, uh... The marlins are fast, and I don't want them to murder me that easily. Ooh, European lobster. Starfish. Made orange starfish and pink seashells. And all the marlins we can catch. Do we have any recipes that use turmeric yet? Ruben's gonna go do geography. Yeah, do at least a little bit more studying before you have to take that test tomorrow. Good luck with it. Samurai sword. Does less damage than my knife now. Hmm. Oh, there he is. There he is. Man, things are getting dangerous down here. I'll take the turmeric since I haven't gotten that before, or not many of those. Well, that was not good. Uh, hi, Otto. Hey, Dave, the crops planted a couple days ago are ready to be harvested. Seriously, they grow so fast. Haha, <laughs> all kinds of unexpected things happen at the blue hole. We need to prepare the ingredients for vegetable sushi before the customers come. Hurry to the farm. <sighs> that shark just absolutely annihilated just annihilated me. I should have abandoned the marlin. The weather here is incredible. The crops are growing so well. Go harvest them for yourself. 
Can I pull this weed real quick? No? Hold him over his head like Blink. Wow, the eggplants and carrots look really nice. Visit often and show your love and the plants will repay in kind. Now take them all and go make vegetable sushi. I have other vegetable seeds as well. I will sell them at a reasonable price if you want them. And don't forget that good ingredients will make a good dish. Thanks, now all I need to do... Now all I need to make vegetable sushi is some white rice. Mm. By the way, who ordered vegetable sushi? Wheat seed, carrot seeds, eggplant seeds, garlic seeds. Expand the rice patty. Uh, this will probably pay off. Alright, I'll slightly expand the rice patty after the next harvest. May as well go uh, plant those. Wrong thing. Um, well, let's farm build it up a little bit and then hopefully we can not get horribly murdered buy a fish. If a shark attacks us while we're trying to harvest a fish, let's just get out of there. Be smart about it. When am I ever smart about anything? Haddock. I don't think I've eaten a haddock. I mean, not intentionally. Fragments. Probably shouldn't keep trying to upgrade this kind of sushi, but you know, sometimes you want to like stick with some of your old favorites. What kind of gun are we here? It's Shock Harpoon. I don't like Shock Harpoon. Shock Harpoon's minigame annoys me. Oh, I heard something big. There's some cuttlefish. Pretty sure we can, yeah, just straight up catch them. Black tiger shrimp. They are good food. We need great trefali fins if I want to upgrade my gun. I 
I don't remember which one's the Great Trevally. Recognize the Trevallis in general, but not the great ones. Which I guess makes them not that great. Barracuda, we're gonna kill you just for safety's sake. That's what all great hunters say. Probably, yeah, Tiger Shark. What kind of Trevally is this? White Trevally. Kill this shark again for safety. All these other fish sort of blocking my shots. Um, we'll save our submersible for if I do kill another. Um, Marlin of some sort. Let's see, are you a great Trevally? Well, I can't catch with one shot, so that makes you pretty great. So those are giant Trevallis. Is it giant Trevally or great Trevally that we need fins from? I should probably know this. Like actually take proper notes or something. Who does that though? Who takes notes? On their Day of the Diver game. Dwarf Seahorse is not new. I've clearly caught a Dwarf Seahorse at some point in the past. Let's see what's in the ship. Hopefully we don't get absolutely murdered. Hammerhead shark. And crabs. We need a rock or something to kill those. Or a hammer. Might as well kill this last one. Send him to his friends. Okay, 
Okay, we can't harpoon crabs. Crabs are not harpoonable. Got full ammo. I could kill this hammerhead shark. I can, so I might as well, right? I'm sure there won't be anything else over here that'll try to kill me. Just the one shark, right? Look, there's also a great a giant Shivali. That one hit took off half my oxygen. Oh god. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here now. Just abandon, abandon the plan. We're not gonna catch that marlin, we're not gonna catch the hammerhead, we're just gonna get out. Here, tiger shrimp. Everyone likes tiger shrimp, right? Okay, I'm a moron. I'm gonna go and um try to finish the job with the hammerhead shark. just aggro one of them. If I can just aggro one of them, then we're fine. Okay, now we just gotta... gotta be almost dead. If we can get the submersible out before I run out of oxygen, never mind. taking back with me. I shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done that. Did the submersible get my meat for me? Maybe? Yes, it did. Okay. So, we'll make some money tonight. So let's see here. We can upgrade our Titan Trigger Fish Sushi now. It's 
still sells for almost nothing. It's pretty tasty, but it's just not... It's not gonna do it. How about the lionfish? Again, sells for almost nothing. We're gonna enhance it anyway. Just get our overall menu tastier. It's seahorse on a stick. It tastes terrible. What am I doing here? Um, bat fin sushi. It's still not worth selling. Whatever, we're honing our craft. Oh, here's our blue tang. We have 80 of them. It'll take 76 to upgrade it, and it only makes it 22 gold. Love of the craft. Um. Right, let's go put our... Our sailfish? Are those one of the things for today? Marlin definitely is. Take six of those, make over 50 more each. Sure. We can't put more than 20 on the menu anyway, right? Oh, yes we can. We're still gonna put 20 on the menu. Uh, today's event, sailfish sushi. Doesn't taste good. Now it tastes acceptable. Those extra two servings from the, uh, one of our employees' knife skills. I appreciate that. So we don't have anything else marlin or sailfish related, apparently. I mean, the thresher shark tastes terrible. Let's not do that. Hammerhead shark. We only got two. Just sell our tuna. Uh, what else we got that's gonna make a lot of money? I just don't want to sell this because it tastes bad. We can get a couple serving. We can get one set of servings. It's five of them. Uh, how about vampire squid meat? Nope. Bad tasting. Eel curry. Frilled shark is bad. Yellowfin tuna kami is not that great. Long nose shark meat is cheap. We've got a good bit of it. Seasoned Kajime? I don't think anyone goes to a restaurant for seasoned Kajime. What have we got that's really tasty? What have we got that's tasty and a lot of it? The Titan Triggerfish. Uh, 
Okay, that's enough food for everyone. We should be okay. He'll show up tomorrow. Why are they wearing sailor suits? Wait, we're getting a special on beer? I gotta get rid of these dirty plates where people don't have a place to sit. Sell out of everything. Is this our. Like, we had a big end. Like, why is no one here for the last, like, five minutes? Whatever. We still made a lot of money. The, uh, Marlin fans definitely came in force today. Alright, so we should, to this morning, get our heated suit, and we can actually go deal with the Melty Glacier. Ooh, it's not easy crafting a suit in one day. But I am me, so I did it! Oh, that looks nice. Looks kind of like the Mega Man 1 box art. Wahaha! Why don't you go ahead and try it on, out here, in the open, where we can all look at you. Oh ho, it suits you well. Haha, -ha, the size is perfect as well. Thank you, Dr. Bacon. It feels warm. Maybe because it's made from the divine tree fruit cloth? With that suit, you can not only roam underwater, but also cold places freely. Good. Time to go down to the glacial area. Okay, we can do that now. You got a cold resistant suit that protects you from the cold environment of the glacial area. Upgrade it further using Eye Diver to dive even deeper. Yeah, I think we already had upgraded our suit as much as it gets. Farming report. Well, maybe we'll just go to the farm, but. Let's see, two weeds we gotta pluck. Growing five rice. Yeah, let's just pluck those weeds. Check on our fish farm. And then I'm gonna take a quick break to pee and get more water, and then we'll go finally deal... Oh, nice. It actually bothers to show that they're gonna be under construction in a second. Stomp right through the rice paddy. Stomp, 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 stomp. Like, there's no sense in continuing to harvest these. We should just sell them all. They're not worth the money anymore.
but I don't want to sell all of them. We're gonna leave two in here as a breeding pair. Batfish seems like maybe they might still have some relevance. Four, five, that would be eight left. Sorry, puppers. We should send a couple of those to the kitchen. Yeah, that's definitely something we can upgrade. Let's leave the rest of them in here. I think they're gonna be our new uh, thing that we mostly use. Um, they're good filler. You know what? They're good filler for our menu. So the barracudas are breeding, but barracudas don't taste good. Uh, tiger shrimp, we need to get more of them. I guess let's send a couple more cuttlefish. Maybe at some point these be worth it. We have not explored coral trout as a ingredient very much. So let's send some of those to the kitchen. Barracuda taste bad. So what I should probably do is just sell them. Okay, we've mostly taken care of that. Have we made much in the way of Nautilus sushi? I don't think so. They're not under any pressure for breeding anymore. So we're gonna go to the boat. I'm gonna take a quick break and then we're going to help the sea people, finally. It's only been an hour and a half. Right, so uh, headphone warning and I'll be back in like a minute.
Okay, let's just scoot this down here. All right, and back to the game. And I just realized that today is the day that this VIP guy shows up. So I'll probably stop the stream before he shows up so that my video doesn't get copyrighted again. Copyright striked again. Because it's little spicy tanner roll song. YouTube's like, you can use that, but we got an eye on you. See, I can upgrade this to make my depth limit 800. I can get more oxygen, which at this point seems like we need it. I'd really like to get, be able to salvage drone more often, but... Yeah, let's just get more health. Have we accomplished anything here? No, because we keep dying. Investigate glacial marine plants. Collect glacial clams. Defeat invasive starfish. Um, are northern sea stars gonna try to kill me? It says defeat, but also says collect them. So hopefully, they are nice little slow kind of derms like we're used to and they're not gonna like go like a feather star but like a killer feather star and you know wrap me up and drown me or something hey jade stuff dangerous gemstones investigate the mysterious aquamarine gemstones found in the blue hole and its effects on marine biology okay what they want me to they really want me to hunt that narwhal. Like, dolphins are friends, but narwhals? Nope. They are food, apparently. Make a phone call to Duff. Oh, that's like a specific thing. Sure. Uh, where's my phone on this phone? Give me that. How's it going, Dave? It's been a while. What can I do for you? Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to explore the glacial area, and I'm not sure if the weapon I have will be enough. Ah, uh, the huge glacier in the deep sea. I've heard about your mission. I planted a tracker in the gun. Yeah. You could have told me that earlier. Yeah. But the one I can craft right now, with the ingredients I have, will not be that different. Yeah. Unless I get my hands on some new minerals. Yeah. Dave, I know you frequent the Sea People Village. Yeah. Why don't you look for new materials there? Yeah. Speaking of the village, I wonder how the Sea People Workshop is going. Mm -hmm. I should pay a visit. There. Let's go pay a visit to the Sea People Workshop. They want from me? Spider crabs. No, haven't done that either. Find amethyst cores. No, I don't care to do that. You got any anti-zombie weapons, buddy? <laughs> I'm still not feeling well. Mm. But good enough to reopen the workshop. Mm. Oh, you're open. What do you sell? Oh. Well, I have a wide variety of minerals available. I'll give you a good deal on them. <laughs> if you know someone who knows what to do with minerals, it'll be good to bring them to them. Mm. Oh, and <laughs> if you find something in the sea, bring it to me. I will buy it at a good price. Sure, I will stop at your place before going up. Anyways, it's good to know that you're getting better. I will keep in touch, Dua. His workshop has opened. We can purchase ingredients from Dua's workshop to enhance weapons. Dua exchanges certain ingredients for Bay. Now we need Bay. Okay, okay. You got me, game. Now I'm gonna actually try to get Bay. 
<laughs> Coughing. Ah. Do I? Your cough seems gotten worse. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a cough. I'm feeling much better than I was before. He's coughing too much. I should ask Mima if there's any booze or for coughs. I've already got 700 bay. I can deliver this already? So we'll need to find more amethyst. But first we gotta go talk to Mima. See what she wants me to collect to make it so that that guy's cough gets better. Maybe it'll be something in the glacial area. Food that's good for coughs. Yeah, Duwa's coughing has worsened again. Uh, I told him it was too early to start working. Back when I used to study cooking, I learned that horsehair crabs are good for coughs. Horsehair crabs? That's right, horsehair crabs, haha. <laughs> The problem is that they dwell in the dwell in the glacial area and live in crevices between rocks. Yes, that's not a problem. That's where we want to go. And any record of how to catch them disappeared as the path to the glacial area blocked off. I don't catch them with my hands. Whatever. They're not that big. How to catch a horsehair crab? Otto used to be a diver. Maybe he knows. Talk to Otto. Okay, so do I talk to Otto? I can't call him down here. I could just go to the glacial area. I'm sure they'll send me here again. Snow crab. Alright, we're in the glacial area. There's that zombie. These look kind of like Amphioxus. Lancelets. Eel pout. Is it actually an eel? So the more fish I catch on here, the more I get out of that, uh... Surveying... request. Gelatinous snailfish. Doesn't look like a snail. Or that gelatinous, but I guess if you... Pull it up from the bottom of the ocean, it'll do like a blobfish and just get all gooey. Snipe flame sniper rifle. I mean maybe flame sniper rifle is what we need down here, but Ribbon has returned with new info. Well, you haven't missed much here. Ice fish. The game just wants me to catch random fish down here at this point. Arctic Cod. Top resolves up, and let's go in. Wow, it's really warm. It's completely different from before. 
or even may have poisoned himself with chocolate, and he might have to stay up later to study. I didn't know you were part dog. Well, time to really explore the area. Take a look around. Right down here. You have to study later, like 25 minutes later. Tranquilizer Mosi Nuggets. Everything is poisoned in a big amount. It's not untrue. I was hoping I could pick. Ah, I can pick this up. More of the magical sinking ice. Crush that crab. Golden King Crab. Hurry blocks. Also, clocks are moved here. Oh, did y'all move forward? Doesn't that mean that my stream starts later for you now? What are these? Oh, these are the little eel things, aren't they? I caught one of these already. Polar eel pelt. It's normal time again. For whatever you consider. Hey, octopus. Yeah, but for, for whatever you consider normal. I mean, what would make sense is if this octopus is now hostile and trying to kill me. Antarctic octopus. So we have Arctic species and Antarctic species in the same place. Why not? So that means Ruben's project week and the next two weeks, you will probably be able to watch 100% of streams. Well, like, I was starting an hour earlier from your perspective, and now I'm starting not an hour earlier. I don't need that anymore. Enhanced Harsh d Dart Gun, level 3. I will leave it to you, Ruben, to know how to better manage your time, but seriously, don't stay up super late watching me. This suggests dangerous currents. My streams are not safe from Ruben's love of the streams. Yes, but it would look pretty bad if your grades suffered because you were watching me. Because you stayed up too late. This thing looks suspicious. I'm going to avoid it for the moment. Can't 
watch those evening streams if I don't want to suffer. I don't want you to suffer, Ruben. Fish. He's having a bad day. <laughs> Ruben got VWO, so he's not an idiot. This looks like some emotion end gameplay music. Emotion end game music. I'm hoping we're near the end. I'm hoping this glacial area is like our last big new area. Black pepper. How have we not found black pepper before? Why is black pepper relegated to the deepest depths of the glacial area? This looks suspicious. Oh, the current here is too strong to enter. I guess. I mean, the music here is nice. It's a good change of pace. Don't ice levels generally have the best music, though? I can always just stop, and whoops! Raven will still be here. Sharky too, probably. What do you mean, stop? The time to stop was a long time ago. Oh, that looks dangerous. I saw a pickaxe earlier. I could have probably collected that with a pickaxe, but... This music. Crab. This music is nice. Ice levels gen generally have the best music. Which is why it's so sad that I'm pretty sure in the re-releases of Sonic 3, they uh, change the music in the ice level. Because of, like, copyright stuff or something. Shock Sniper Rifle. I mean, it does a lot of damage. Maybe we want to take this. Nah. Oh! Is this another warp mirror? Ah, so it's like a escape patch, but we can go back to the sea people if we want to. And that looks like a new type of kelp. Oh, we're almost at the bottom of my advisable depth is. Frozen Cod. Whoa, a huge jellyfish. What was its name? Lion Mane or something? Anyway, it's a giant jellyfish in the glacial area. It'll make a nice photo. Let's take a pic. So once capture it with the narwhal. Come on, narwhal. Come on back.
Fantastic. Nice, that was a good shot. How was the job? Um, I haven't done work for my mom's friend in over a week now, because the rain has made it so we can't work in her yard. It's a swamp. She lives in a swamp, and so when it rains a lot, it becomes more of a swamp. And it's probably going to rain all this week, too. So, hey, good news. I can probably stream every day. I haven't, I haven't confirmed that, but I can probably stream every day this week. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Nope, I made, the, I made the jellyfish mad. Jellyfish are not mindless. They're just weird. Oh, boy, you scared me. Okay. Even in such a cold place, there's still something for such a huge creature to eat. Well, jellyfish don't have that much in the way of dietary needs, dude. The deep sea really is a mysterious place. <laughs> they aren't like humans wasting a bunch of... Oh, wait. I feel some heat coming up. <laughs> Less studying for Reuben. Just, like, have me on in the background. I'm your passive... Passive English listening... Practice. <laughs> so now we can't go down because it's too hot. Huh. Just gonna check out over this way a little bit more. Ribbon has like 12 hours a day to study. Yeah, you have me on in the background. It's like you're studying two things at once. It's getting that passive English listening practice from someone like me who can't talk very fast, and so I'm probably fairly easy to understand when I'm actually speaking in complete sentences anyway. like little sardines. And they're also really helping me get that, uh, investigate regional ecology bonus. Because they're just real easy to catch. Just need three more. Come on. Come on, little guys. Let me get my research done. It's for science. Okay, science complete. Black coral. Despite its name, it's white. Ribbage find a good German streamer and a good French one. I can't help you there. To the best of my knowledge, streaming is mostly an English, Japanese, and Spanish thing. Other languages are not very represented. Oh, I thought I found a shortcut. I mean, may as well catch more of these little guys. Caught like 20 of them. Maybe they'll make good sushi. Maybe I'm going to deeply regret this. Not going to, though. The English one he found is so good he doesn't want to leave his... I appreciate that. I don't know if I deserve that, but I appreciate it. Let's see, was this the way I came back down? I think this is a different way. Uh-oh, there's a shark. And there's something hostile under that water, and I gotta get... Just, just move. Just get out of here. Ooh, 
net gun. I'll just assemble it. Capture 11 fish at the same time, which is nice, but oh god! Narwhal's, Narwhal's hostile. I thought marine mammals were supposed to be friends. It would be a shame to cut you up, so we're gonna have the, uh... Gonna have the submersible take you out. Shovel. Might be good for catching clams, not clams, uh, crabs, but... Hmm, a door. I know the stone slab with text in front of the door. I should take a picture of it and ask Dr. Bacon to decipher. Cool. If I don't deserve it, then I wouldn't be able to capture Ruben's attention for two years with ADHD. I mean, I might have just lucked out and become your, um, what's it word? Uh, it's not obsession. There's some, like, ADHD term for, like, a subject matter that people just randomly latch onto. You know, like, some people randomly latch onto trains or photography or special interest. That's the word, special interest. I may have just become your special interest somehow. As special interests seem to be random. But that's pathologizing something that should be a good thing, so don't worry too much about what I just said. I feel like I've done enough damage to this ecosystem as it is. I don't want to catch any more of these fish right now. I just kind of want to get out. Get somewhere safe. I think I've caught all the types of fish we've got here. Mm, there's an ice block. Ice block implies that... There was something around here that I could have mined. Not that, that's too cold. But I think if we keep heading down this way, there's gonna be like an orange mineral deposit. I can get some stuff out of. Well, Ruben's also interested in boring things from the opinion of the rest of his class, so that's also bad. Yeah, see, I think I feel I fall more into that. Just like some random strange thing that some people like, and everyone else is like, who cares? Have I caught this fish? I don't know if this is the fish I've caught so far. Oops, that's a gun. I didn't mean to shoot you with a gun. The intent was to shoot you with a harpoon. Haddock. That's a haddock. Okay. Okay, there was the thing I polished to get back. Here it is. Topaz. Right, let's go back to the Sea People Village, because I forgot to give that one kid the wedding uh, slab. Which means I've got to swim all the way up here. It's not that far. Ok, 
Okay, now you can have your wedding. It's only a few days late. I mean, not your wedding. You can preside over someone else's wedding. Niamo. My goodness, human, this is the one. Thanks to you, we'll be able to have the wedding without any hiccups. Gave me 20 bay. Whatever. Human. Or rather, Dave, was it? I think if you participated, you could become better acquainted with the villagers. Mm. Um, a sea people wedding, huh? That sounds interesting. It is fun going to weddings that are not a culture you're used to. How did the star get stuck in the wall here? Like, how is it moving at all? Here we are, Dave. Wow, it feels different from a human wedding. Does it? Haha, -ha, is that so? Well, I guess because a child is presiding over it, that would be pretty different from any human wedding I've seen. You can stay in the back. It'll begin soon. Yes, human, stay out of sight. You can participate, but not really. What? That's probably a bad sign. That is not something you want to happen at your wedding. Oh no, another earthquake! Ribbon scene one human weddings. I've been to several. The one time I was invited to my Indian friend's wedding, that was pretty cool. It took place over three days. Got to do like big dances and then it's a very religious family, so like the older uncles were just sort of sneaking out back to their cars to get drunk. And then they'd come back in the party and pretend like they were normal. Oh, Ribbon's been to minus one human weddings. I don't know how you do that. Were you invited to one and just said no? <laughs> King Long's arm. Yep, that big beefy arm's gone now. It's my fault for completing this quest. Oh dear, King Long. This is terrible. It's actually a very old statue. Yeah, I don't think that super glue's gonna dry underwater. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to fix that. We don't have the tools in this village to patch it up. Oh dear, this is not good. Is it an omen of an impending disaster, perhaps? Ruben doesn't know either, but that's what the stats say. Ah, uh, right, the stat screen. I should check mine sometime. Mm. Hey now, calm down a bit. Mm. Maybe Cobra will have something? No. I'll try to see if there's anything we can use on the surface. Just wait for a bit. I'll bring you some flex tape. Oh, Dave, please do bring back something. King Long, we need your protection. So we gotta talk to Cobra about... Fixing King Long, we gotta talk to Otto about catching horsehair crabs. Probably gotta figure out some way of surviving in hot water. I've pretty much filled up my inventory, so the best thing to do would be to go back. Hmm. A stone adhesive for use underwater. Let's see. Oh, good. It was in the corner here. Haha. <laughs> this should do. I should go back to the Sea People Village. I'll go back to the Sea People Village and attach the arm of King Long's statue. Also, Duff, what's he want? The kilometers biked is also glitched, but that's normal here. It's a normal Dutch thing. It's just like, why have I biked how many? This many kilometers. Must be like some sort of memory leak. Anyway, oh, that's a new type of material. Okay. How do you know when we're talking over the phone? Heh, <laughs> because I installed a CCTV in your boat? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me that. Anyways, I will work on a new weapon when the mineral arrives. Give me that. I will add the ingredients I need to the list. Secure them and let me know. <laughs> I will eagerly await for the never-before-seen minerals to arrive. No, it's using 
Symbols? Symbols. Oh yeah, you rolled over from the uh, numeric symbols and into the alphabet part of the hexadecimal. Goodbye, Trinity. We got a anime girl poster. Why? Anyway, new gun list. You can now create weapons with the Sea People materials. Visit the workshop at the Sea People Village to find out about new materials available. Hey, Dr. Bacon. Can you read this? Also, Ruben's probably taller than me. Yeah, probably. I think you were shorter than me two years ago, but... Most people get over that. Most people, by the time they're in high school, are taller than me. Especially, you know... What's the average height in, uh... Netherlands. Netherlands average height. I can't spell. 182 centimeters. Yeah, that's taller than me. That's taller than me. Anyway, can Dr. Bacon read the runes yet? Oh, an ancient stone slab of the sea, people. But it's very old and poorly weathered. No matter. Should be enough to run the decoding equipment with. Could you hold that picture for a moment? Which is bad, since medical history messed with Ruben's eating habits and so early growth. But he's growing very fast now. Yeah, I never did that. Crabs grow in short bursts, and then they're done. Oh, we're doing a decoding minigame. sure how this works. Just gonna kind of run it along the, the bits that are clearer. Oh, I see now. You kind of just clear off on that side. Kind of like power washer simulator a little bit. I don't know if Ruben, if you were here for this, but I'm gonna end the stream before we do another uh, sushi serving minigame, because, like, YouTube doesn't like it when we hear the, um, spicy tuna roll song, and so I don't want that to end up in the VOD. So I'm just gonna play that bit off stream real quick. I'm missing one- oh, there it is, I found it. Oh, I thought I found the missing piece. I'm missing one tiny speck somewhere. There it is. Ruben's gonna be like 190 centimeters. <laughs> yeah, that's that's towering over me. Good, I can read them. How lucky. Oh, what a relief. What does it read? It seemed to be some sort of bell. The letters are unfamiliar to me, so it is hard to decipher them clearly. Why don't you ask the sea people? There must be someone who has knowledge of cryptography or spells. Maybe the king? An ancient spell that even Dr. Bacon cannot decipher? Hmm. Ah, uh, I remember seeing many old books in the sea people temple. Oh, that little kid. Maybe he can decipher it. Niamo may be of help.
So we got lots of critters. King crab, only one king crab meat? 28 of these. Why is, oh, cause it got brought back by the submarine. If Ribbit ever meets me, hugging me will be difficult. It will involve you leaning down, yes. Hopefully not having to the squat, but leaning down definitely. Udo. Do you like my narwhal slash jellyfish picture? Wow, a giant jellyfish. This seems like a different kind of wow than what I just said. It's like, wow, a giant jellyfish. The tentacles look like a lion's mane. <laughs> Did you hear something growling? Haha, uh, <laughs> just kidding. You can't hear anything underwater. I mean, you can, kinda. Uh, I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Uh, there are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help and keep up the good work. Hmm. <laughs> So, it is afternoon, we can do one more dive, and then I'm not going to show the food part. Oh, right, we should talk to Otto. Maybe I can just call him. See if he knows how to catch a horsehair crab. Hmm, not picking up. That's weird. So I still need to catch more fish in the Glacier Passage to get these 30 points. I've only collected one black coral. Ah, oh, we got our glacial clams. How tall am I now? I don't remember how tall I am in centimeters, but it's not very. I can say that I was amused to find out that my uh, VTuber model in um, Vroid Studio, the place I have to take it to like give it new costumes and everything, it now shows me my model's height in centimeters, and I am about as tall as this model is, but the model needs the, the horns. This model is the same height as I am if you include the crab claws. Let's go see if something's wrong on the farm since Otto wouldn't pick up the phone. Because we live in the 21st century and now like, if someone will answer the phone immediately, you're like, oh no, maybe something's wrong. Don't do it. Hey, you want to catch a horse hair crab? Mm -hmm. That's right, apparently they live in crevices, so it's hard to catch them with harpoons or nets. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course you can't, you need a crab trap. It's called a crab pot in English, Otto. Mm -hmm. a crab trap? <laughs> yes siree, you put some bait inside the crab trap, place it between some rocks, and crabs or lobsters will walk right in. <laughs> wow, then I could catch a horsehair crab with it. Do you have any? I'm retired, of course I don't have one. But I can make one for you if you have the materials. Ruben's just gonna say... I'm sure that's... 15 decimeters smaller than your bio teacher? I'm sure you mean centimeters. <laughs> Alright, what kind of materials do you need? Ah, uh, some lumber, scrap iron, rope. Ah, oh, and we need a tiger shark tooth for a good grip. Okay, okay I'll try to get everything for you. <laughs> good, I got it. Everything I need to make a crab trap. Good thing I've been grabbing all that junk this whole time. <laughs> good, you brought the materials for the crab trap. Uh -huh. Alright, time to work my magic. Let's see if I still got it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 I 
I mean, that looks kind of like a... Looks kind of like a... Crab pot. Fifteen... You're, you're sticking with the decimeters, I see. If I were 15 decimeters shorter than your teacher, how many, like, would I be, like, 10 centimeters tall, 15 centimeters tall? Put it in a crevice where there's a lot of bubbles and wait for a bit. <laughs> when it catches a crab, the crab shop will start shaking. You'll know right away. <laughs> Got it. With this, I can catch horsehair crabs. Um, Aha, different things live in different areas. Try to put that to good use. So now those rocks with the bubbles, we finally know what they're all about. Probably water these while I'm here. The comma is very important. Well, except that we can't agree between American English and various European languages whether. So, is this harvestable or not? No. Whether the comma means a decimal point, or like a division of thousands, or sometimes a division of ten thousands. Let's see, so... I need to catch a horsehair, horsehair crab from the glacial area. I also need to catch more fish from the glacial passage. Oh, I am 15 decimeters and so smaller than the bio teacher. She can barely feed the fishes. Yeah, it depends on how high the fish are, whether I can reach over the top or not. Grabbing things off the top shelf, it's a good thing that um, for being short, you also are light. And so I can just sort of stand on the bottom shelf if I'm at the grocery store and need something from the top shelf. Right, what are we doing? Uh, we still need Cleones. I could just go for a dive. Or we can go talk to Niamo. And give Niamo the super glue. Ruben likes the image that you can feed the fishes at my school. And off we go. So, we need to talk to Niyamo first, to get him to interpret what's on the slab, and to super glue that arm back on. Then, we should go to the glacial area and catch a horse, horse hair crab to help the blacksmith get better. We are getting into sort of a go here and then go there and then go here and then go there type of situation. Huh? Swam, what are you doing here? Are you reading a book? Heh, <laughs> are you surprised? My keen analytic abilities come from the books I read. But if the thoughts of you and my bio teacher get mixed, Ruben doesn't like the idea that that creates. I will take your word for that. I don't probably don't want to pry into that too much. Ah, long time no see, human. I was sorting books. I was here this morning. What do you mean, long time no see? How can I help you? Can you take a look at this picture? It looks like an ancient spell, but I can't understand what it means. Hmm, hmm. I can roughly understand it. Where was this stone slab located? In front of a large, closed door in the glacial area. I see. According to the book, there are three large doors in the glacial area. And inside those doors is a switch that will lead to the Divine Tree Control Room. <laughs> it created a very cute crab that's 80 centimeters tall. How big would the legs be on an 80 centimeter tall crab? That would make a... That would make a king crab look like a little tiny baby. 
Are king crabs actual crabs, or are they another weird modified hermit crab? I don't know. Too big. Probably, yeah. Too big. Could maybe live in really, really, really cold water that's well oxygenated. Maybe. But well, we're getting to the limits of what can live on this planet under the current atmospheric conditions. Anyway, this tree has a control room. The divine tree has a control room. That's quite a fancy tree. I did an analysis and found that the earthquakes are caused by the divine tree control room. Activate all the switches and you will be able to access the divine tree control room. That's not going to be easy. How am I supposed to open the big door? I have materials referring to the door. Let me see. Here it is. You need to cast a spell to open the door. Dave's a spellcaster now. Okay. Um, but I don't speak the language of the sea people. Uh, of course not. Then, why don't you bring Swam with you then? Uh, Swam, you say? Human, you could do nothing without me. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, it looks like you're in trouble. I will give you a hand this time. Oh, I am not sure about this. Best of luck to you, Swam. May King Long's protection be with you. It's going to be a weird time when Reuben never, ever meets me. Life's crazy. Who knows what I'll be in five years. Maybe I'll be in the Netherlands. Stop worrying about me and just lead the way, human. Hmm. This must be the door. Here streaming. Of all the possible outcomes, that is one of the better ones, probably. Well, I am supposed to cast a spell Niamo taught me. Watch and learn, human. Doing a little dance. We just learned that see people from pelvic thrust. Wow, the door really opened. I am impressed, Swam. While Reuben will be studying for his future job. Sounds good. It's nice to study for something where you have a concrete goal at the end of it. You know, like, I'm learning this so I can do this thing. Haha, ha, now you realize my greatness. Okay. You said it was a spell, and you had to dance as well to open it? Oh, it is... I needed to dance to keep up with the beat. <laughs> Got it. Shall we get inside and check out the place, Swam? Uh, my wrist hurts from the dance. Unfortunately, you will have to go alone today, human. <laughs> Horsehair crab habitat. Okay. I should place the crab trap auto made for me. You can now use crab traps. Put some bait in the trap and place it in a certain rocky. Place it in certain rocky crevices. Where do we get bait? Upon catching the crab, the crab trap will start shaking. Remember, unretrieved crab traps disappear when you leave the water. Be sure to retrieve them. Maybe Ruben will ever find a way to visit me. Don't I need bait for the crab trap? Well, I don't have any clownfish, but whatever. Once deployed, traps and baits cannot be retrieved. I should come back later. It'll take some time until something takes the bait. I need a pickaxe to mine that, right. Are there any other fish down here I haven't caught before? I'm hoping the ice ice fish sell for a lot. Yeah, 
like any of these fish are really worth catching. It's the in-game area. You would think they'd be worth a lot of money, but maybe I gotta invest in them first. Uh oh, Narwhal. I mean, I guess I could kill it and take its meat. took half my oxygen. You know, we got mad at Blue Sea, Sea Blue, whatever, for harvesting dolphins and sending dolphin meat. Maybe illegally, maybe not. And here I am killing narwhals. Really hard to feel like we're the good guys here sometimes. I think I caught like 20 of these little dudes. Hopefully they're worth money. Ah, crab traps ready. I'm gonna refill my oxygen just in case whatever's in there is hostile. We got a horsehair crab. I should take it to Mima. But first we're gonna go into this scary door and see what awaits us. Yeah, visiting me would require a lot of planning. And you would have to get a passport. Mm. There must be a switch to operate the Divine Tree control room inside. <laughs> My gut feeling is this passenger will call me trouble, but I have no other choice. I need to be careful. Also, we're out of bullets. Mm. Hmm, a strange. A piece of strange rotating equipment is blocking my way. Mm. I think I can start it by myself. how he plans to start it. Just visited. May I can probably pay in seven plus years. Seriously, who knows what the economy is going to look like in seven plus years. Oh, the equipment is working and the stakes started moving. I must avoid them. There's a jewel right there that I kind of want to grab. Got it. down there is blocked by ice. Okay. I should do something with this rotating equipment. It's gonna drop a ball and the ball is gonna go on my head. right.
hopefully good enough so that hopefully the economy is good enough so that Ruben can live and I can come to the Netherlands. Ah, oh, good. The ice is broken. Time to go down. I've never been to Europe. Partially because you have to learn a lot of languages, but then like you get there and people are like, okay, thanks for learning our language, but actually you can speak English. Is the general idea I've gotten from my friends who have been to Europe. But I don't know. Have I caught one of these before? We're just gonna injure all these fish. Eventually one of them will be caught by me. Ah, uh, that's a gelatinous snailfish. They don't seem that tasty. Weedy sea dragon. Or just stick with Ruben, he can translate. Uh, this little thing is hostile? one of those fish where, like, it can make its mouth much bigger. Arctic telescope fish. I don't know that fish. Ah, oh, more of this whatever seaweed it is. Southern bull kelp. Kelp found in the Antarctic Ocean. Bull kelp. Bull ets. We're gonna have to fight something, aren't we? <laughs> Ruben might fall asleep here. Uh, okay. Another room. I guess we gotta make this guy positioned like the statues in the back. This is the statue of King Long, but it looks somewhat strange. His pose is slightly different from the King Long depicted in the mural. Maybe it means... Oh, his head's the wrong direction. So I guess I gotta push these as far as they'll go. No, that's not quite right. Okay, good enough. And that turned on one of the lights down in Brinstar. So maybe eventually that'll cool off. And I can go down deeper. Wait a second. This kind of sounds like the glacier is some sort of magical cooling mechanism for a nuclear reactor, and so it's melting down, and maybe that's why the bottom is too hot now. Anyway, this is really... Is this really the ancient sea people's technology? Impressive. I hear some noise from afar. That must be the first contraption Niyamu told me about. Don't make me fight the statue. Am I gonna have to fight the statue? I don't think my guns are good. What the? Is this 
his little brain pint there. Made me an exit. Alright, I appreciate that. And the path up is now open. Let me return to the village and tell Tenzin about this. And I'm hungry. Ribbon likes the priest of their religion. It's kind of strange to see a little boy be their head priest. I'm not going to argue against it, though. Caplin. Uh... So Swam's not going to escort me back out. I'm just going to have to swim on out. Assuming that the glacial area is like the deep part of the hole and doesn't really randomize, I should be able to just go this way and there'll be a mirror out. But on the other hand, when I saw that that wall, bef that door before, there wasn't a um. Uh oh. There wasn't a block of topaz in front of it. Maybe we can use this scooter to get past that shark? Hostile in the ground there. And something hostile underground there. And we don't have any rocks or anything to drop on them. Okay, cool. As long as you don't attack him, he's not hostile, he'll just run away. Flame triple axle. Oh, that's poison. Okay, so he's a little bit dangerous to be around. Yeah, come a little closer, King Crab. bait to deploy our crab trap. Ruben's brain is melting, so he'll be right back. Yeah, the stream's about over. I just gotta report back to uh, King Tenzin. Which hopefully this guy will let me do. And then I was gonna end the stream before we make sushi because that rapper's gonna show up. And he gets mad if we upload his music onto YouTube. Oh yeah, I guess we gotta make soup. Wow, a horsehair crab. How did you get one? Ah, used a crab trap. You can lure them into the trap with bait. Yeah, I think I've read about it. Anyway, this is great. Horsehair crab is most delicious and, nutri and nourishing when steamed. How are you gonna make steam underwater? With her steamer, of course. I can cook it for you in no time. Haha. <laughs> Here, allow me. <laughs> Holding it with tongs like it's a chunk of uranium. I mean, it's really more like it's a hot coal. <laughs> Oh, 
Mm. Wow, you steam this crab to perfection. Mm. It almost makes me want to eat it. Ah, mm. uh, uh, make sure you don't. Here, come to the door so I can give it to you. Ha, mm. huh, I packed this up. Sorry, here, I packed this up for you. Please give it to Dua. Do I have to carry it? Yes. To slowly carry it across the plaza. And then once I'm done giving Dua this food, then I can maybe super glue that back together. And then you've got a request for me. I don't think I really care to do that, but I guess I'll check on it. Dua should be inside, right? I should give him some steamed horsehair crab for his coughs. Here you go. Delicious crab. Here's what ails ya. So, that nasty cough still hasn't gone away. Here, why don't you try this? Hmm? A steamed horsehair crab? Where did you... I caught one in the glacial area and gave it to Mima. She cooked a delicious meal out of it. They say it's good for coughing. Try it. It looks warm and delicious. Let me try. Super sea people. Power of the horsehair crab. Maybe a little bit. Whoa! I feel stronger. I feel like I'm bursting with energy. It's been a long time since I felt this way. I've never seen you so energetic before. Thank goodness. Haha! <laughs> I doubt I'm completely cured, but still, it's given me a good boost. Thanks, Dave. I can't give you much now, but here, take it. I wasn't hoping for a reward, but thanks, I'll put it to good use. For the sake of everyone who's worried about me, I'll do my best to get back, to get my health back. Drop by the workshop anytime. And he rewards us with money and divine tree fruit fragments. Can we use those for like, making weapons? Is this going to continue with being a nuclear aller? Nu nuclear allegory? Ruben's back. Welcome back. We just got a super glue King Long's arm back. See what this lady's problem is. Sorry, boy, little boy, what his problem is. Where could Morrow have gone? Hmm? Something wrong? Oh, human. Actually. Maro disappeared. I'm sure Amara went to the underwater lake. I'm sure. Underwater lake? Yeah, it's a mystical and beautiful place. Tenzin told us not to go, as there's a frightening monster there. The thing is, Maro said there's a crack that we can fit through. I didn't go because I was afraid we'd get scolded, but I think Maro went alone. What a troublemaker. Where is this place? It's closed off with a door in front of it so that no one can get in. But there should be a guide sign nearby. The sign has this kind of writing on it. The Loch Ness Monster. Ruben was right. Yeah, the, the Loch Underwater Sea People Village Monster. In this case. Please bring Maro back. Tenzin will be furious when he finds out. Okay, I'll try looking. Hmm. A sign with the language of the sea people. I think I know where that is. I don't know how we're going to squeeze through the crack. And I don't know if I'm going to bother. But I think I know where that is. Oh, you're back. My friend had something we could use. In that case, please start working on it immediately, Dave. Are we going to do the welding game, but like, sort of backwards? Like, we were cutting things. 
now we are gluing. With our underwater hot glue gun. Dave's got some interesting skills. Good enough! Wow, it looks completely undamaged. Ooh, looks like I managed to glue it on quite well. Thank you so much, Dave. We won't forget this. Why do we keep getting these trimmers? They seem to be coming at shorter intervals. Oh, King Long, please protect our village. Alright, talk to Tenzin. And then we should be about done here. For today. Tenzin's house. Wait, why are you here, Niyama? Our ancestors used to traverse the glacial area with ease. But ever since we settled in this place, we became weaker and the glacial area has become a more dangerous place. We need your help, Dave. Hmm. Niyamo told me the story. The Divine Tree Control Room is malfunctioning, and that is causing earthquakes, yes? Yes, I need to operate three switches to enter the control room. I already activated one of them. Well done. I am ashamed of our people having to rely on you in this matter. Please don't be. The earthquakes are a problem for us, too. The King Long thing is kind like asking for Napoleon to bring equality rights back. Like, he's dead, stop praying. Uh... Faith makes people feel better. Also, it keeps Niyamo in a job. I remember something. It was written in one of the ancient books. After some workers mutated into the Gavons, We've got mutations in our ancient books. Uh, after they mutated into Godons due to Engineer Dash's schemes, my ancestors created switches to access the control room and scattered them in this glacial area. They created those switches to tighten the security, but they turned into obstacles now denying us access to the control room. It's still cold, but the heat coming from the ground is melting the ice. Niyama should be protected and should get money. I mean, you can do, like, Japan <clears throat> and uh, import other religions that no one actually believes in in that country. Like, if Niyamo's job is presiding on weddings, they could just do, you know, surface-dweller Christian weddings and Niyamo would still get paid. Or hell, why make it Christian weddings, you know? Do, like, some, uh... You know, I take that back, because doing, like, an Indian wedding would require him to learn ancient Sanskrit, and that chant was like hours. It was okay for people to leave that part of the ceremony. Like you came in to like the start of the old dude chanting next to the bride and the groom, and like they served some food, like some drinks and snacks, and then like you could leave and come back later. And just people sort of like cycled in and out for literally hours. So anyway, yeah, Niyama should not learn how to do Indian weddings. Uh, don't cancel me. They're hard, though. Niyamo is Ruben's favorite fish. He's pretty great so far. Yeah. He's, like, not a jerk. Wow. Maybe the control room is overheating, causing the water temperature to rise. Stabilize the device, and the water temperature will return to normal. I know it's rather impolite of me, but please hurry before our ancestral home is completely destroyed. There are two doors remaining. I will try locating them. You got 200 bay. What does that even buy you? Uh oh. Are they mad at me? Apparently not. You haven't found it yet. Where did you search? 
I searched the whole village, but no luck. Huh? What's going on, Ramo? Oh, Dave. Mm, I think the beluga has suddenly gone missing. If he is not in the village, he could have gone to the other side of the glacial passage through the open door. He is kind, intelligent, cute, and polite. As far as we can tell, yes. I agree with all of that. He is a very curious kind, you know. You didn't hide him, did you, human? Yes, I'm, I'm hiding a narwhal, sorry, a uh, beluga whale behind my back. Totally can do that. Why would I? All right, I will let you know if I find him. Thanks. Nawang, Awang. What are you doing? Go find the beluga. Hopefully he hasn't gone feral. Ah, okay. So I could go try to find that missing child, or I could just... see what this exclamation point is. But I guess we can't be for Beluga right now. Yes, we can. I found him! Hey guys, I found the Beluga! That's a manatee, not a beluga. Okay, you're right, you're right, Dave. That is a manatee. That's not the beluga whale. It's not even a whale. It looks very slow. But I have no choice. I should ride it. Oh, wow. Look at this little guy go. Not sure if he's actually slower than Dave or not. Seed shop. Where is the book? Which book? Oh, human, good to see you. There's a book that contains the famous words of King Long. I can't find it. I wanted to read it in the evening while resting. Where is it? I remember borrowing it. Borrow from where? From Niamo's temple, of course. The temple has many books about the history and doctrine of the sea people. Oh, human. Can you borrow another book from the temple for me while I look around? It's called, There are mutant sea people in the basement, and as king, I can't just stand by. I must do something. Volume 2. Did you miss something? Uh, the beluga whale has disappeared. And the princess, Brahma, wants me to try to find it. It's probably in the glacial area. Anyway, that's a long title. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's a novel that describes King Long's great battles. Anyways, please borrow the book for me from the temple. I borrowed volume one before, so Niyama should know. Hello, Electron. Hello, Orange Lobster Up Sphere. Yeah, I'm not sure who an Orange Lobster Up Sphere is. Uh, this 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 chore won't take me very long. I'm not taking you. Sorry. <clears throat> me, I am the orange lobster pulp sphere. Lobster pulp sphere. Oh, I get it. Usually, orange is not considered like they're all kind of opposites there. This is what this is not where I wanted to go. And like pulp is something that goes in juice. And at least lobsters are still decapods. Anyway, you got that book, Niamo? Uh, the owner of the seed shop told me to borrow a book. Mm. The title... it was very long. Orange is the actual opposite of blue. It is the opposite side of the color wheel. Red is the opposite of green. Kinda depends on how many colors are in your language, but that's... 
probably true? I'm gonna pull up a color wheel. Uh, blue. So this color wheel has blue on the opposite side from yellow. But the color wheel on Wikipedia has the blues more across from orange, yeah. Definitely, the blue is definitely not across from red. Which is what I usually think of as the opposite of blue. We chose pulp because juice is the liquid part of the juice and the pulp is the solid part of the juice. Purple is opposite of yellow. Is that why Waluigi is purple? Haha, <laughs> ha, I understand. Kazan. Kazin. Always read strange books. Mm. Nyamo, I was told that you would know which one, as it was previously borrowed. Do you remember? <laughs> um, if it's a book that Kazin borrowed, <laughs> it might be one of these three. There are pictures of the divine tree and its fruit on the cover. He likes plants. Maybe it's this one? There are pictures of a beautiful, sensuous sea woman on the cover. Is this it? There's a picture of zombie-like sea people and the king fighting on the cover. It looks like fun. Probably the zombie one. Though, he also seems like the type that'd be happy if I brought him this. No, 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 no. No! Well, it looks like, uh, Kazian's getting the ladybook. Orange bird bread pyramid. You are very insistent, little manatee. But you are also very slow. Niamo is also a librarian. Niamo is the keeper of books and knowledge and religious ceremonies. Yeah. He wears a lot of hats. Is this it? Um, this book. This is it. I mean, what am I saying? What are you thinking, bringing a book like this? <laughs> Look at him side-eyeing. It's like, no one saw you bring this lady book with you, right? I mean, it's something you borrowed before. No! What's this? This is some kind of misunderstanding. Go and look again. It was the zombie book. It was the zombie book. Unless the zombie book is a red herring. Nah, couldn't be. It's definitely gonna be the zombie book. Uh, I guess it wasn't that book. I'm sorry. Hey, Proton68, how are you? Is a proton the opposite of an electron, or is an anti-electron the opposite of an electron? Is the entire concept of opposites just some man-made classification that ultimately, as far as the universe is concerned, does have no meaning? Ah, I see. It's alright. Will you try choosing again? Yes, it's the, the zombie book. Maybe it's this book. How about you take it with you? Yes, that will work best. Thank you. Haha, -ha, please come anytime. May King Long's protection be with you. There's a portal right here. I can save myself time if I actually paid attention. Oh, 
from this book. <laughs> this is the one. There are mutant sea people in the basement, and as king, I can't stand... Just stand by, I must do something, volume two. The opposite of Ruben's name is probably something like a bad eagle. Yeah, because eagles go up high and are generally referred, like, thought of as being kind of noble, even though they eat trash and dead things. Whereas a blobfish comes from very deep and is treated like trash, even though it's not. It's just hurt by people. Anyway, great job on finding it. Haha, <laughs> awesome. I'll read it in the evening while drinking some seaweed wine. Binging with Babish should try to make seaweed wine. Ah, uh, it's not really a gift, but please take this. Is it a seed? What is it? It's a very flavorful seaweed seed that's grown in our village. Oh, it might be a bit difficult to grow on the farm. It's human facilities, eh? Try going to the village's farmer, Gumo. Ruben's just vibing and trying to find the library. If you're lucky, Gumo might be able to help you grow the seaweed. So we are not near the end. If they're introducing a second farm at this point. Oh, I think Gumo's that guy who had the manatee pulling his cart around his field, right? The manatee that was behind the cart? No? No, nope, different guy. Mm hmm? You're asking me if I can harvest seaweed? have to extend a book and see people information. Is that a pun? Well, it can be harvested at the seaweed farm behind me, but I don't want to do it for a human. What an unkind sea person. Should I just leave? Yeah, probably, Dave. No, seaweed directly from here would be better for cooking. I'll have to try my best to convince him. This is a seed that Kazin gave me. Can you please help me? Kazin gave it to a human. That's strange. It's not a pun. Oh, I thought you were going to like see, like, with your eyes, people information. I'm not sure what a human will be able to make with the seaweed. But I'll think about it if you can make something that's extraordinary. <laughs> Bring me a dish made of seaweed. Mm. Uh, looks like I'll have to ask Boncho. Okay. I'm done helping these people for today. I'm gonna go back up to the boats, and we're not going to do a cooking part. I'm just gonna do that off stream, because I don't want to get this, uh, video copyright strikes again. They said it's not a strike, but, you know, I can't use the Creative Commons license, and so that discourages people from remixing the thing I made, the video. Don't check Ruben's normal leave time. I will try to avoid that. I will keep this in my inventory. Just because, like, maybe? Maybe it'll be fast? We went really deep. We got narwhal meat. Okay, <laughs> so that would be where we wrap up normally. Oh, we can harvest crops. Let's harvest... I can harvest crops off stream as well. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah. As far as I know, I should be able to stream all this week. I mean, we'll see if the weather suddenly dries up. Maybe I won't be able to stream Friday. 
But that's the end for now. So thanks for hanging out with me. I'll be back playing Splatoon tomorrow. What kind of rotation do we have tomorrow in Splatoon? Tomorrow, we oh, we should have the new, uh, the new Splatoon gear. It's a Lucha Libre helmet. Cool. And tomorrow we'll be using, it'll be on Sakai Station. None of these weapons seem particularly hard to use. They all have pretty okay range. Yeah, that should be a good one. That should be easy. So look forward to that. It'll be fun. But I'm going to go now. Bye-bye.